What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday. It's a brand new week. Like I say every single time, it's a brand new week. Hey, a little, little different this morning. Normally, I post videos. I make the video on a Sunday afternoon, and then I just post it first thing Monday morning for the Monday morning jumpstart. But this week is a little different. Super Bowl weekend. I kind of decided I was going to get up this morning and do my video this morning. But then when I got up, um, I decided I was going to wait till I was headed to my day job where I work, and I was going to make the video uh, a little bit later. Uh, but still, it, something got crazy. So let me just break it down for you real fast. This is crazy. I really want to share this with you this morning. I don't have much time. Um, my normal routine is I wake up, I set my alarm clock on my phone. I use my phone. I set it for 4.16 a.m. And this is just for those five people who care. Um, and then I set my uh, sleep cycle. If you don't have the sleep cycle app, you should get it. It will change your life. And I set that for 4.15, which is a 30-minute um, increment. So that means I'm either, you can, you'll wake up sometime between 3.45 and 4.15. So alarm goes off at like 4 o'clock. So I get up and I do what I, I always do. I go turn the fire on. I sit in front of the fire. I open up the Word and I read in Scripture. I pray and then I read another book. It just depends. It depends on the day. Some mornings I'll write for a new book project I'm working on or I will read um, read another book for a little while, drink coffee, whatever. Well, this morning, in the middle of, I would finished my scripture reading and I prayed and I was in another book and all of a sudden, my phone lit up beside me, which I try not to get on my phone early in the morning and just start my day off fresh without too much technology, but my phone lit up. So I looked down and it was a notification from Trivia Crack. And if you have uh, that app, you know what I'm talking about. It's a pretty popular app right now. Everybody's playing this trivia game. Um, and so, but I get uh, notifications every now and then when a new it's time for a, a new game or whatever. But I hadn't been on it in like a week. I've had the app for a month, hadn't been on it for a week. And I got a, tech, a notification that said, Trivia Crack misses you. And it just hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, dog, it's only been a week since I hadn't been on there. And they already missed me? But then I started thinking, you know me, I'm a deep thinker. I started thinking, man, if Trivia Crack misses me and I've only been gone for a week, imagine how God must feel when His people who claim to be Christians and are showing up at church uh, on Sundays or occasionally or claim to have uh, given their heart and life to Him at some point in their lifetime, they haven't been with Him uh, in the morning time, hadn't got up early in the morning to seek Him first, haven't been given time to uh, spend with Him how he must miss them. And I started thinking, you know, even though he misses us when we don't spend time with him, he still loves us. He's not running away from us. He's not uh, condemning us. He still loves us and he's there waiting for us to spend time with him. He loves us and he's seeking us out. So it doesn't matter. Maybe you're 35 years old watching this and you say you got saved when you were 15 and for the past, ever how many years that is, 20 years, you have not been a uh, You've not gotten your word. You've not uh, been seeking him. I'm talking about seeking him on your own, not corporately with a big church service or opening up your Bible. I'm talking about you haven't cracked your Bible just to seek him on your own and see what he has in store for you in your life. It's okay. He misses you. And I'm sending you a notification right now to let you know that he misses you. And he's welcoming you back. He wants you to come back and join him. He wants you to get up in the morning with a hunger and a thirst for righteousness. He wants you to seek Him. He's never going to leave you, never going to forsake you. He loves you right where you are. So today, if you're watching this, take this as a notification. Maybe you are diligent. Maybe you are waking up early every morning, and, and maybe 30 minutes early. Maybe you're getting to school early if you're a high school student. Getting to school early, getting to your, uh, in your vehicle and just opening up your Bible and getting in the Word before you go into school. Um, maybe you are, and that is awesome if you are, but this message is for those people who right now feel like you're so far away from God. You've been close to Him before. You know what that closeness is like. You remember what it's like probably after a, a big conference weekend, a Disciple Now weekend, or a big uh, Christian conference where everybody's gathered around and you had an awesome spiritual high. Maybe you went on a retreat, had an awesome spiritual high, and you remember what that was like. But it's a distant memory. When God wants you to have fresh revelation every day, He wants you to have fresh moments spent with Him every single day. Not just on Mondays, but every day. And so today, short video, be encouraged. Get the notification. Imagine it popping up on your phone. I miss you from Jesus. A message from Jesus. 
I miss you. Come back. Come join me. Come be a part of this life that I have for you. Not the one that you have for you. The life that I have in store for you. So you're awesome. Thanks for watching this video. Share it with the world. Encourage somebody. Somebody you know. Uh, just send them a text message. Hey, watch this video. Jesus misses you. And he loves you. He's not mad at you because you haven't been with him in the past 20 years or 20 uh, days or 20 months. However long it's been for you. But he loves you right where you are. Come back home. You're awesome. Love you guys. See you next week.